Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for one of my favorites, the sequential guessing game. Each round, there is going to be a jar that contains only blue and red balls. Half of the time, it contains mostly red balls. Half of the time, it contains mostly blue. Your job is to guess whether, in the current round, it is mostly red or mostly blue. Unfortunately, the jar is not see-through, so you can't tell by looking at the jar. Let's try a different approach. Each round, the computer randomly orders the members of your group, and each group member makes her guess in that order. Let's look at the information that you will have when it's your turn to guess. First, you will see the guess of each group member who guessed before you. Second, you will pick one ball from the jar, see its color, and then put it back. Because each person puts his ball back in the jar, the contents of the jar never change. Armed with this information, you choose whether you believe the jar contains mostly red balls or mostly blue. After all group members have chosen, the contents of the jar are revealed. If your guess was correct, you win a prize. If your guess was not correct, you win nothing. Let's take a look at your game screen. When the game starts, you find out when you will make your guess. The owner of this screen will guess fifth out of six group members. You also find out the possible composition of the jar. In this case, the jar either has 60% red and 40% blue, or it has 60% blue and 40% red. These are the only possibilities. As each group member submits a guess, you see that person's guess. In this case, the person choosing first guessed that the jar contained mostly blue, and then the next three guessed that the jar contained mostly red. Importantly, while you see the guesses of those before you, you do not learn what color ball each saw. Now that it is your turn to submit your guess, you get to randomly pick one ball, see its color, and return it to the jar. Click on the cap to do so. Okay, so the randomly chosen ball was blue. Well, this makes things interesting. The randomly selected ball was blue, so do you follow your private information and choose blue? But the last three guessed red, so do you follow the crowd and guess red? Holy smokes, this is a tough decision. I'm glad it is you, rather than me, who is playing this game. It is now time to submit your guess. Just in case you cannot figure this out for yourself, you click the big red button if you think the jar contains mostly red, and the big blue button if you think the jar contains mostly blue. And then you wait in eager anticipation. Happy playing! Are there any questions?